Hey guys, it's Michael, and today we're playing Final Fight for the Arcade on the Capcom Collection, Capcom Classic Collections Volume 1. There I go again, always forgetting to say classics. And it's on the PlayStation 2, that's the version we're playing, but it's also available on the Xbox 360. And this particular game is also available on numerous consoles, but the arcade version of this particular game is also available on the Xbox Live Arcade and the PlayStation Network. So, let's get cracking on this. So the Super Nintendo version only had two of the characters. Uh, who should I play as? I think you only could play as Guy or Hagar or Hager. I can't, I didn't even see what his name was offhand. I should know this stuff. Alright, so it looks like you have two attacks. I haven't played this in a long time. Or two buttons. But this the Super Nintendo version wasn't a very good port. Although, that's the one I remember before playing the arcade game. Those guys look like the guys from Streets of Rage. I mean, Streets of Rage was kind of a blatant rip-off of this game, or this type of game, but it looks like this game. Now, this game is fun for anybody of moderate skill level. I mean, you won't finish the game in one quarter or anything if you're not good, but at least you can play the game for a while before you have to put in another quarter. So the I don't even think the first Super Nintendo game even had had two players. I think they didn't perfect really the game until the second final fight, which I'm not sure if that was even in the arcade or not. The Sega CD actually had a decent version of this with changed music and terrible cutscenes. But I remember seeing the Super Nintendo version, of course I was impressed at the time. I would be impressed by anything at the time that was 16-bit. Because I had a NES and, well, uh, the Super Nintendo version looked way better than the NES. But Super Nintendo version had a lot of slowdown. A lot of stuff was taken out. Like, the girls in, in the game they took out because I guess they didn't want violence against women or stuff like that even though violence against anybody should be bad if you're gonna go that route but yeah when I saw the arcade game I, I was blown away even more like it was in the grocery store and it was like night and day compared to the Super Nintendo version uh, I remember dying when I played the ga arcade game for the first time and his stupid laugh. I'll probably die again in this. One thing I like about these games, I don't think the first Streets of Rage did it, but the second one did. Was when they actually named the people and you can see what their name is. Oh, you dicks. So I guess the best fighting games that we got on the NES at the time when we had this was was River City was a River City Rampage and um a River City Rampage. How do I say Rampage? Man, it is early. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. And the Double Dragon series. And the NES got my, Mighty Final Fight. But that that was not until later on. That was a good game, actually. A little hard, but good. If you saw that girl, they're not in the Super Nintendo version. Apparently, they have a fan base. Because I saw that they had, like, little resin statues you could purchase and paint. Like, on, like, model kit sites of her. Even though she's not as common in the U.S. Because she's usually only in the arcade game. There they are. Yeah, it was the poison one. Oh, that's a dramatic cutscene. Or a game over screen. 
So they're totally in the S&M. She had like a little pair of handcuffs and everything. It was actually a nice looking figure. Not because she was skating like clad or anything. It's just painted really well. Somehow I think they managed to put less clothes on her though on the statue. But they had some weird stuff on some of these model sites. Like they had a series of like popular characters and video games and stuff that were pregnant and I was like what is that a thing apparently where I wind up on the internet sometimes even shocks me but no I actually have been starting a small hobby of models and I was looking at different stuff I'm not an anime fan but if something's like aesthetically pleasing or like cool and it looks like it'd be fun to put together and make like cars or anything even if I'm not into it as long as like the actual process of making it is fun and the final result actually looks decent I'm interested in doing it but back to this game because I'm kinda going on a tangent here some people call it waffling which I found out it's really not a phrase we use here much so I wonder if that's more of an English phrase, a proper English, because <laughs> my English is obviously broken. Somebody says waffling, it's like a stack of waffles automatically stack in my head. Head's a weird place to hang out in, I don't recommend it. So the character sprites are a lot bigger than I remember in the console versions. That guy looks like Andre the Giant if you're into wrestling. But I'm not into wrestling, I know who he is, so. Oh no. See, this game versus some of the other arcade games, it doesn't send you back. So if you have enough quarters, you can finish the game. And it's good for commentary videos. That way I don't show you the first three screens like I have in some of these games that are hard. Why am I struggling so much? I guess it's because I'm talking. Yeah, that statue definitely had less clothes than the actual character model. I'd have to look at the concept art or something to see if maybe it's more accurate to the concept art. Like I said, it was painted well. There's some weird stuff on that site. So I'm going to try to hopefully make, if they didn't send it broken or whatever, try to do a fr my first resin kind of model. That's why I was kind of on the model websites. I was doing cars for the past two models. I haven't done models since I was a kid, but I kind of discovered it again after I saw that they had the Ecto 1A from Ghostbusters 2. That's the Ghostbusters 2 cards different because it has extra stuff on there. I was like, oh, I gotta put this together, and then I did that, and then I put together a Batmobile, and I was like, this is pretty. This is a pretty cool hobby. As long as it's fun to put together, it's time consuming. Sometimes it's better than, as much as I love video games, sometimes it's better to actually make something than actually play, sit in front of a TV for a long time, though that's fun too. Like these videos are kind of making something, but just playing games alone. It's not what I do all day. Now it's turned into confession, but yeah, it's, it's a fun little hobby. Probably one of the nerdier hobbies, but I never claim not to be nerdy. So I died a million times and you guys are probably wondering why I suck so bad and I ask myself the question every day, at least at video games. Saying like I sucked at life or something might be going a little overboard or it might be appropriate, who knows. Oh, there, that's some big money there. There's blood in here, I seriously doubt that was in the Super Nintendo version and now as far as the Sega CD version goes, I never played it. I forgot they had that move, but that's like, on like the Batman game that I played on the NES, and the Super NES has the move too, where it takes some life away. A lot of these beat em ups have like one special move that you can use, but it takes some life away. 
So sometimes it's not worth it because it'd be the same as getting beat up. Oh, <laughs> it looks like the fence exploded before he actually hit it. Oh, wrestler. Oh, no. It's a little overboard. This is a wrestling ring. Oh, do I even have a chance? So far, no. Oh, shit. I remember being way better at this game, but you hear me say that a lot. It probably sounds like a bullshit statement by now. This is coming, this game kind of came out around the time where, um, like, there was console and arcade parody. It was getting pretty close. I mean, the arcade is still better than the console. But this is getting to a point where the arcade game started to not look at as drastically better as like that an NES port and then the next I guess like maybe the next generation after this there's pretty much parity there's only slight differences and I think that's what kinda killed the arcade like the arcade scene because then the consoles are just as good as the arcade but I still feel like there's merit to playing uh, on an arcade cabinet it just there's nothing else that feels like it even if you have a stick it's just that feeling of the cabinet the base coming out of that little wooden thing a little, little, little wooden cabinet thing so awesome with nouns so um that was final fight the arcade version on the capcom classics collection volume one this is also available on the original xbox you're watching the ps2 version i hope you enjoyed this video despite me dying a lot I, I realize it, so you don't have to point it out, but feel free. But, um, yeah, this is a fun video to make a really fun game. Highly recommend it. If you can play the arcade version, I definitely would suggest it. Sega CD version would be interesting into looking into. I might do that later, I don't know. No promises. But, um, yeah, this is like a fun beat em up if you like this kind of game. I can't recommend it any higher. I mean, it's right up there with Streets of Rage 2 and 3, which are some of my favorite beat em ups. This is a genre that doesn't really exist too much anymore. Although Scott Pilgrim vs. the World was kind of cool. But I'm rambling again. But makes for interesting commentary, I guess. So, final fight. Remember to leave a comment, subscribe, and like. And make sure you check out the channel description where I have a list of consoles. And if there's a game that you want me to play on any of those listed consoles, send me a message either on Facebook, YouTube, or Twitter. And if I'm able to play that game, I will make that video for you. Alright guys, thanks again for watching. And thank you all for that supported me so far with my channel. And I hope that I can continue to bring interesting stuff. So thanks again for watching. Bye.